guys, welcome to the first episode of the Pokemon Renegade Platinum All-Star Lock. So, we have been trying to get this started and done for ages now. It's been, what, a week, two weeks since we finished uh, Soul Light Lunar Dark. So, uh, that basically means that um, it took me a little longer than I was expecting. Let me lower that a little. Um, unfortunately, it took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Um, I wanted to work on the intro. Unfortunately, I didn't have as much time to work on the intro as I was hoping. So, uh, here we are now. And hopefully, uh, things are going to be able to go off without any problems. Now, I have genned in our team. We are only going to be using a team of six throughout this entire series. So, uh, basically, just so we know... Um, the basis of what this all-star lock, uh, is basically I have picked six mons that have had some kind of impact on the channel at some point or another, um, whether they are, were, you know, popular, uh, through you guys and with the suggestions I've been given whew, some interesting ones, but I picked six of them and we are going to be going through the game with them, uh, Right now, since we're only using six of them, the original plan was I was going to um, use a decent amount, but like at least at least 10 or more. Uh, like I had like 15, but I decided to scrap that idea. I wanted to go with just the six that were going to be on the layout. So we've picked the six. Um, they obviously you have seen them on the layout already. So you already know the team we are going to be going with. So I guess we can get this started. I should actually... Um, Come up with a voice for Barry. There you are. I, I guess this is what it is. Hey, Nick. Did you just see the, the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have a, lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Oh, hey, is this the new PC? Uh, where was I, Barry? God damn it. Oh, right, right. We're going to go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Nick. If you're late, I'm finding you one ten million dollars. Okay, well, I don't think either of us have any of that. But yeah, um, basically, that's a key item in the bag. I'm dumb. So we don't have the mons with us. They're in the box. Um, they are all level five. We're gonna all uh, basically like the original plan. Just so we can kind of discuss it, I'm gonna kind of skip this mom dialogue real quick uh, while we discuss. So basically. Um, the original plan was going to be I would pick like 15-ish mons. I think 15 was what I was I had, but I was gonna try to get a few more, but 15 was probably what we would have ended up with. And what would have happened would have been that I was gonna switch them out um with a token, kind of like an egglock would. And I would just randomly pick one and go with the air go with that until you know, we got through and got all of them and then kind of went from there, see how it went. Uh, what I decided to do and what the decision I've made is that uh, we are going to be going with six Pokemon who and we're going to kind of go with a life system for this series. So basically, obviously, um, Pokemon will end up dying in this game. Uh, the main thing is the fact that they're all going to have, I think I was going to go with three lives. So, you know, uh, it'll probably be kind of on the little, uh, layout, uh, how many I put, I, it'll probably be like stars or a heart, actual hearts on it. Uh, something along those lines. So, uh, yeah, uh, basically every mon's going to have probably three lives. So that technically gives us 18 mons. Uh, so the one thing that's going to be a very big challenge for this series is the fact that we have a couple weaknesses. Now, obviously I probably should have picked, uh, I probably should have like actually thought this through and gone with uh, better picks for mons, but I wanted to kind of do, you know, Pokemon that were more popular, uh, Pokemon that made some kind of impact with the series, whether it was Pokemon, you know, that survived the entire series, uh, made a very long way and had a very kind of sad, eventual death or just somebody who's had an impact on you know channel overall so uh, obviously we have uh mailman the natu or uh, who will eventually be a zatu that was kind of more so for the meme than anything else basically if you guys don't know who mailman the zatu was 
Uh, during my Pokemon Black Sleep Block, we tr we had two tries. So we lost in the first gym at first uh, because um, who did we fight? I think we fought Chili. It was either Chili or it was uh, Cress, and they had a Spirit Tomb, and our starter was a uh, Zatu. So we had no chance against him. Um, we had lost our other Mon just before the Spirit Tomb. I think we had caught at least two Mons. Because we definitely had at least the Gift Pokemon. And we kind of just went from there. But, you know. Anywho. Um, I'm going to actually pick Chimchar for this. Just so uh, Barry will have Empoleon. It'll be kind of a bit more of a challenge. Because I'm not guaranteed to be able to take that thing out. Uh, with any... Well, actually, no, that's a lie. Uh, we do have Lanny with us. Uh, spoiler alert, I did pick Lanny over uh, Lana for the Curlia. Just because Lanny was kind of the first, and I'm going to make Lanny a Gallade, so... Because that's what Glan Lanny would have been, and what he ended up being in Sacred Gold. So, we'll have that against the Empoleon, but the rest of our team actually kind of gets bodied by it. Which is, like, kind of part of the thing that I was going to talk about. Is that we have a very glaring weakness to Ice-type Pokemon. It's bad. Like, literally, so... Um, to put it simply, what, half our team is weak to ice types, and two of them are quad weak to ice types, so, uh, obviously, you know where that, what that means. I'm gonna go for the Leer, just to do a bit more damage. Obviously, it doesn't matter if I lose right here, because this isn't actually my, um, Chimchar anyways, so, oh, it doesn't matter, we won. Okay, there we go. Litty titty, uh, that, basically, I probably should have done everyone to level six, but you know what, it'll be fine. Um, we might actually have to grind a little for this first episode because um, that first trainer battle is actually scary. Like he's got like a level, I'm pretty sure he has like level six or seven and it's like a Starly with very scary moves. I don't know, I, I like from what I remember from when we tried to stream this series, um, we almost got our butts whooped within the first like like not even hour of the game we lost one of our we lost our eevee in the first or this technically second rival battle we lost it to a crit rock slide from munchlax and i don't even think it was actual rock slide i think it used um metronome and got rock slide and killed me but you know yeah so this is gonna be a very fun uh game i'm a hundred percent expecting us to get our butts whipped multiple times over uh if we can win this with the mons we have only and only having um three lives each i'll be very surprised so we're honestly gonna have to go and see how it goes i'm not doing any dialogue this episode and i kind of apologize for that but i will do dialogue in the in the later episodes it's just i even though it's only been like two weeks since i've done a nuzlocke like literally two weeks since i've done a nuzlocke I haven't recorded a video since, uh, let's see, Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday night, last Tuesday at least, and it's kind of killing me a little. Uh, I, I had two days off, uh, went to Disneyland with my family. It didn't, uh, it didn't really help because of the fact that I was so just lazy and tired all the time. And now we're here, we're back. I'm actually very excited to be recording again, and, uh, we are obviously very close to the end of Explorers of Sky, which is, I'm very happy about. Um, that game has been a lot of fun, and the post game has already been awesome. We haven't even done much of the post game, but it's already great. Very excited for it. I'm all set. Uh, I'm all f here for it, you know, and I genuinely think it's going to be a fun game. 100%. Like 150%. It's going to be the best Pokemon game I've ever played. So, I don't know. Like, I, I guess as a kid, I never really did post game or any of that. And because of that, I never really got to enjoy everything that happened after like you beat the champion. I think the most I ever did was po for post game was actually fun fact. Um, platinum, uh, diamond, pearl and platinum. I did the battle area and all that, even though that's not really much of it. I guess it's not much of an after game. I feel like that's the only stuff you can do for an after game. But um, I feel bad. This uh, this Chimchar is going to end up being 
just throw it to the side. And I kind of feel bad because we do have our Chimchar. I was contemplating using this Chimchar as our um, Chimchar, but I didn't want to run the risk of it being the wrong nature or gender because I was like, mm, that's not a good idea. But to kind of like ran myself in, uh, I was going to originally randomize everyone's stats, EVs and IVs. I decided not to. Um, everyone is going to have zero EVs and IVs when we first get them. And I'm pretty sure in this game you can battle trainers that will um, specifically like EV train your mons. So we're going to use that to our advantage. And we'll just see how it goes. But, you know, it could be worse. I think we're going to be fine. I feel like this is going to be a very fun series. And I really hope you guys are going to enjoy it as well. I know we didn't... I, I know it wasn't that long ago since we did plat Platinum before. Uh, let's see. We did Platinum... Uh, in... I think it was October of last year. So it's literally... It's not even been a full year since... Uh, Renegade... Or we did our Platinum Extreme Randomizer. If it was even, like... I think it was last year. I don't think it's... I don't think it stretched through the to this year. I think the first series we played this year was either like part way through Gaia or whatever we did after Gaia. Or it could be completely wrong and Gaia was what we did before Renegade or before Platinum. I don't know. I'm, I'm dumb. May I could be completely wrong, but I don't know. My memory is just killing itself. You know, uh, I've been working so much that it's been just killing me a little and it kind of sucks. It really honestly does suck that I haven't been able to uh, actually have a good recording schedule because I work so much and I don't want to record a uh, day of and I don't want to sacrifice any kind of editing time so you know that part for the most part has sucked but anywho uh, real quick we're gonna show off our lovely team so these are the six members we have chosen first off we've got PC God the Chimchar the mascot of the entire PC party the channel we have Chimchar, Adamant Nature, uh, with Iron Fist ability, Rockin' Scratch, Leer, and Ember. Then we got Moonflip the Hoppip from the Pokemon Omicron Nuzlocke. Uh, Moonflip, we had caught um, as, I think actually as a Hoppip, or it was like, it was either as a Hoppip or a Skiploom. And it was very kind of, it was kind of ironic because of the fact that um, Hoppip was one of our choices for a starter. And it was almost who we were given. And Clint very much was one of the people who absolutely wanted me to be able to use the Hoppip. I did use uh, Hoppip as a jump pluff for a while, but eventually caught a Turtwig and switched it out. And then eventually we went to the second region and we had to use a completely different team. So uh, we had all that, but Hoppip is here. Modest Nature, level five with the Chlorophyll ability, rocking Tackle, Splash, Absorb, and Synthesis. Then of course we've got Soda Pop, the Turtwig from the Pokemon Sacred Gold Nuzlocke. Uh, Soda Pop survived throughout the entire ordeal of that series. That series was a bloodbath. We lost a decent amount. We actually, no, we didn't lose that many mons, but we lost a lot of heavy hitters and to a lot of kind of BS. So, Soda Pop survived to the very end. Uh, quirky Nature. I don't know why I picked Quirky. Um, I think I didn't, and I accidentally just set it to a nature. But uh, Overgrow ability, Rock and Tackle, Withdraw, and Absorb. Then, of course, we've got one of the original all-stars of the ser or the entire channel. We've got Lanny, the Ralts. Lanny was a Ralts we caught in Fire Red Omega the first time we went through it. Survived all the way to uh, just before Victory Road, and unfortunately lost to a Crit T-Bolt from... Or it was either a Crit T-Bolt or a Crit Ice Beam from our rivals Jinx who proceeded to almost destroy our entire squad uh, in the Elite Four, only to be saved by Mr. Lowe, who, just so we all know, Mr. Lowe was not uh, part of the All-Stars, and I, I feel bad about it, but um, I picked out, when I had, I while I was picking it out, I noticed that I had Moonflip and uh, Soda Pop already. There was no way I was going to be able to use Mr. Lowe as well. That would have given me three grass types, and that was a gl that would have been the worst of the weaknesses we would have had. We've been incredibly weak to flying uh, because of the fact that both Lanny and uh, PC God would end up being super weak to it as well. But here we are, level five Adam and Nature, the synchronized ability, our confusion, grow, growl, if I can read or do anything competently, uh, teleport and 
Double team with the Dawnstone for when he is ready to evolve. Then we got Kelly. Kelly, Lee Squirtle from our Storm Silver Egglock, level five, our starter throughout the entire series. Uh, Kelly is actually the only one who doesn't have the whatever moves she would have at level five because of the fact that we got her in the egg lock. I gave her the move she had when we first hatched her. So she is relaxed nature, torn ability with muddy water, fake out, aqua jet and aqua ring. That's going to give us a little bit of an advantage because that's going to obviously be a lot more damage uh, for a lot of our moves and it'll probably work in our advantage. <laughs> and then finally, we've got uh, mailman the not to mailman. Like I said earlier in this uh, episode was our starter for the black sleep block who unfortunately met a very early end to uh the first gym from a spirit tomb so he's level five modest, modest nature with the synchronized ability rock and peck and leer so this is our squad for this entire series we're gonna get this started real quick uh unfortunately this gym char is going to be uh chilling in here i feel bad i should have used him uh as our pc god but I don't know why I didn't. Anywho, we're going to drink, bring them all out at once. Uh, they are going to be our full team for the series. And yeah, um, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This episode was mainly going to be an like kind of introduction to the idea of the all-star lock. So I think uh, it would, it might actually kind of be where we end it early here. Um, I didn't want I kind of wanted just an episode to be kind of an introduction to the All-Star Lock and the idea of what the lock is going to be. So um, I feel like this is the best place to end it. And then we will actually start the series uh, tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, I wanted an episode for today. I wanted to kind of give us a little introduction to what we are going to be seeing. And yeah, um, there may, may or may not be an intro for this episode. <laughs> And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I am finished with the intro, but every time I've tried to render it, After Effects has decided, like, I don't deserve it, and it's crashed. So, that's been a little bit of a struggle, but anywho, um, today might have been a bit of a lackluster episode. I kind of wanted to, first off, get back into recording a Nuzlocke and all of that. Um, I haven't recorded uh, in a couple, I haven't recorded for almost a full week now, so I'm, I don't know, like... You know, I've been super tired from work, super tired from uh, my trip. It is just like, unfortunately, getting home super late and then you like past the time I was usually recording has been very much draining on me. And I apologize for that. I'm really hoping that I will sooner or later be able to uh, get things bulk recorded. I might try to bulk record tomorrow, if I'm being honest with you guys, and get things set for, um, you know, the future. Uh, I have Tuesday and Thursday off this week. So I could most definitely, um, oh fuck, I've completely forgotten about the fact that Explorers of Sky still exists. Explorers of Sky will be going up tomorrow, and then Wednesday would be the start of the official start of the All-Star Lock. So I will probably use uh, Tuesday night to do a bit of bulk recording for the All-Star Lock, um, and Thursday night for a bit of bulk recording for the All-Star Lock, and try to get us a little bit ahead of the game. It is a lot easier for me to record um, Explorers of Sky night before than it is to record All Star Lock night before or any Nuzlocke series I do night before. So hopefully that'll work out. But anywho, um, I did want to kind of give a quick update on a few things. Um, so Explorers of Sky is very close to ending. We've talked about that. We've discussed that. Um, so we are going to be prepared for the end when it comes. But um, I'm been working uh i've been working on in another layout for another series after i finished uh the layout for this for the all-star lock so uh we have another series that is going to be starting um not i'm not gonna say too soon but hopefully in the near future hopefully at the beginning of the year if at the latest the beginning of 2020 but it is going to be with my good friend d craze um i haven't been able to talk to him a bit since um since we discussed these plans, but we do have a series together that will hopefully be coming up very soon. Um, I can't make too many promises because, you know, the last time I had a series with somebody, uh, Joe ended up falling off the face of the earth for the rest of eternity. So, uh, yeah, uh, a bit of a just kind of an update. We got another series. Hopefully that will be in the works. Um, I've been really hoping to kind of do more co uh, collabs with other people because I love collaborating with other people. It's a lot of fun. 
it definitely helps um, when it comes to like my commentary. I love being able to interact with other people because we I can definitely pull a lot more uh, commentary out when I'm with around others than I can when I'm alone, which is probably not a good thing for me being trying to be a content creator to begin with. It's not really, it's not actually, it's not that I can't do it myself. It's more so that it's just, there's something about doing it with other, like collabing with other people that just makes it so much more fun. And obviously, um, I've, oh, I've been wanting to stream as much as I could. And streaming has just become one of those things that's like very, very hard to do. Um, because my, you know, obviously my days off are very different, very like different every week. And, you know, it kind of sucks. But anywho, uh, I've been rambling for the past like four minutes. Uh, this was basically kind of the intro, the prelude to, uh, the all-star lock really, to be honest with you guys. So, uh, we are going to actually start the, or the all-star lock on Wednesday, uh, tomorrow we will be having an episode of Explorers of Sky. Uh, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. But I might very well start doing two two videos uh, um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but that would depend on me being able to bulk record them and edit them. So I'm not going to make any promises. Anywho, uh, with that, I hope you guys are excited for the All-Star Lock. I'm very excited for it, and I really hope you guys are going to be able to stick around for it. I'm going to be trying to do, uh, pull all the stops when it comes to editing this. I know I got a little lazy with it with Soil Light and Lunar Dark very early on, and same with Explorers of Sky. I haven't really done much editing. Uh, that all kind of comes down to the fact that I don't have much time between when I can start editing, when I can uh, like, and when I can go get to work because I still have to edit it, render it out, uh, make a thumbnail, and upload the video. So. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I apologize for that. I apologize for rambling. But, like I said, we're going to actually fully start this series on Wednesday. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you do smash that like button to follow me. Subscribe to the Puzzle PC Party. Share this with your Twitter, PC Bowmaster. Join the Discord links down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm PC Bowmaster, and I'll see you guys next time.